it's being creative as a mother, raising your child, how do you make sure the food's on the table, the rent is paid. You have to come up with creative ways. So you have to have your creative uh, vortex open at all times. In the last two and a half years, I became a, an, a, an activist. I don't like the word activist, artivist feels a little better. But I started to take up and direct advocacy. I stepped up to support a community who had stepped up to stop the acquisition of a small lake in my community, which was up for tapping 1.75 million gallons a day by a major water bottling company. I struggle very hard between my back, back, backyard and the big backyard. And so, you know, I stepped up for the water in our community. And when I did, I said, wait a minute, you're worried about your tiny lake. You better widen your scope. And then I saw the other communities that were affected. And then I saw the pipelines coming in. Then I saw the massive fossil fuel infrastructure build out. Then I saw the marginalized communities around the country. Then I saw the global community. So it's important for us to take those steps into um, to looking at sort of grander picture and then the dichotomy of global action and local action. In Woodstock regarding activism, uh, that's not a big place where I, that's not my arena right now because one of the other really big things about taking advocacy into a full-time position is to find your team. And sometimes it's not the issue, it's the team. If you know that you have a team that you're working with and the issue in focus might not be the one that flutters your heart to the end of the end, the people who are fluttering your heart and the people were, that you work with and the possibility that happens with true connection and true collaboration, that's where the energy has to go. I don't wanna run around and try to save the world. That's not my business. I can't do that. It's not in my control. But I can support people who are taking strong action. So when I see the teams that I fully trust, then I, I work with them. In Woodstock, you may see me hop on a stage and make some songs with local artists. You may see me walking down the street and you're always welcome to stop and say hi and poke me and see if there's anything that I might know that you might wanna know. I am always happy to help people look into ways that they can take action in their own community, how to find your team. Mm -hmm. I may actually know people on a team that you can plug into all across this country. And so it almost doesn't matter where you live. I bet I've got something for you.